Hello and welcome, Annette Reader from TheBiblicalNutritionist.com and it's another grocery discovery. I'm back at Tom Leonard's because they came out with a holiday favorite that is totally a blessing to your health. And if you love the people that you spend time with during the holidays, you're going to want to serve this to them as well. So let's go inside. I want to surprise you. Or do you think you already know what I'm going to share with you? Let's go see. Thanks for watching, but before I head inside, be sure and hit the subscribe button, the like button. If you're on Facebook, be sure and like the page. If you're on YouTube, be sure and hit the subscribe and the bell next to it, because that tells me I'm giving you the information that you love. I'm helping you understand what is biblical health, and you're going to have a healthier day. Therefore, you're going to be happier, and we all need a little happiness right now. Wouldn't you agree? So, before I go inside, thanks for watching. I appreciate it, and let's go check out this food. So here we are. Today's food is chestnuts. Yes, chestnuts are so healthy. We're going to talk about it. I'm going to share with you how to buy them, what the health benefits are, and I've got five amazing health details that I can't wait to share with you. Now, these are only details that are important if you want to live better and live longer. So stay tuned for that. And then I'm going to share with you how to eat chestnuts. I don't know about you, but this has not been on my dinner table every holiday season. So this is important. I'm going to share it with you and let's just see how we can enjoy these chestnuts this season. So how do we buy chestnuts? Chestnuts are freshest between October and December. So that's when you're going to see them in the grocery store. Okay, so what we're looking for are the large shiny ones. Like that's a really nice one there. We'll put that in our bag. Oh, that's an incredibly nice one there. That's actually perfect. So nice shiny shell, nice large size. It's got some weight to it. That means it's very fresh. It's gonna be amazing for my family. So there we go, we've got some more. I really just want about one to two pounds. And if you get extra, they store well in your garage in a nice, cool, dry area until you're ready to roast them. So now they're in the store. It's just starting to come in now because they're being harvested. So you want to collect them, store them, and then have them ready for just a nice treat. That one I'm not real crazy about, but this, these are all really good. So go ahead and get a collection of them. Now, let's start talking about the health benefits of these chestnuts. Now, it's time to learn about the nutritional value. So let's start with the vitamins. So number one is the high vitamin content of these chestnuts. Vitamin C is the most important one because not only if you just eat these raw, would you get about 35, 45% of the vitamin C, you actually will get at least 20% of it once they're cooked. So you're not gonna lose it all. Now that's amazing, but you also get vitamins B, A, and E, plus a lot of your minerals. This is important because we need our vitamins and minerals. We need it in a food form as much as possible. So that's reason number one, I want you to eat these. Reason number two is because they have antioxidants. They actually have two specific antioxidants called gallic and elagic acid, which actually increase when you cook them. Okay, so, you know, it's not like God didn't understand that we would be cooking our food. We don't have to eat everything raw. So we actually get an increased amount of antioxidants when we cook these chestnuts. Reason number three is because, you know, I've taught you this before over and over and over, you've got to have fiber in your diet. Fiber is what feeds the microbiome. Fiber is what helps you to stabilize blood sugar. Fiber helps to protect you from any invaders in your body because you need things to move along and move along quickly. So chestnuts are going to be high in fiber. So this is another benefit. So if you have prediabetes, if you have diabetes, if you have digestive upset, you need this chestnut in your diet for some fiber. Reason number four you need to have these in your diet is for your heart. I wanna share with you because if you really love the people in your family, you're gonna to wanna to serve them some chestnuts. So serve them some chestnuts instead of cheesecake for dessert. Just roast some in the oven, dip it in some pumpkin dip or some good yogurt dip and serve it to your guests for dessert. Skip the cheesecake, you don't need that because these are gonna be heart healthy. 
The reason are the reason that they're heart healthy is because of the magnesium and the potassium that's in them. So all of the foods that have been created and designed by God are going to have his fingerprints that go into our body and create health. So if you really love your family, I want to challenge you to add in some chestnuts this holiday season. Now let's go on to reason number five. So these chestnuts, I've already told you so many reasons why we need to be eating them, but the last reason is because of the protein. They are a high protein food. So there you have it, protein, fiber, the best combination for a delicious addition to any meal. Now, are you ready to learn how to cook these and how to peel them? That's gonna be important. So let's move to the kitchen. The first thing we're gonna do is cook these, but I went ahead and peeled one so you could kind of get an idea of what they look like. So this was a totally raw chestnut that's been peeled. You have to make sure you get not only this outer coating off, but there's a paper thin coating as well. So we gotta get both of those off and we're gonna do it by baking. First step I'm going to do is take my chestnuts and on the rounded side, I'm just gonna make a plus sign. Or you could say it's an X. This is gonna help the paper to release and the chestnut not to explode when it's baked at a high temperature. <laughs> it was a little bit hard. And we're just gonna put them in our pan and they're ready to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this tray, get them in the oven. We're gonna bake them at 425 for 15, 20 minutes. And then I'll show you the next step. There we go. We have our tray ready. I'm gonna save some for another time. And we're gonna go ahead and pop these in the oven for about 15, 20 minutes. And then we'll go to the next step. And here we have our chestnuts straight out of the oven. I'm just gonna put them on this towel. They are hot. You can see how they burst open like that from baking. And then we're going to wrap them up like that. And we're just gonna kind of press on them to get them to release from their shells a little bit easier. Now what we can do is keep them in this towel until I can handle them and they're not so hot. And the towel will keep them moist. I don't want them to dry out because then the shell will be even harder to take off. Okay, so we're gonna let that sit for just a couple minutes to cool down and then we will open it up. Our chestnuts have cooled. They're still a little bit warm, but definitely they can be handled. And oh, I wish you were here and you could smell how good these smell. So I just, oh, I wish you were here in my kitchen. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put these in the bowl. I also wanna make sure that that paper comes off as well. And you can see they're kind of coming out kind of like a walnut comes out of its shell too. And you can just hear it, it's just papery thin. And that one, the paper's off too. You can just kind of see it got a little bit roasted there. Oh, they smell so good. Man, I can see why they sing it in the song, Chestnuts Roasting on an Open Fire, because they smell delicious. Well, here we have, we have our peeled chestnuts. Oh, they, they're still warm to the touch, which feels good. And the kitchen, I'm telling you, it still smells really good. So what I can do with these is I could chop them up and make them a topping for a salad. I could make them a little bit bigger chunks and they could be our croutons on our salad as well. Let me just, I'm just gonna use this food processor attached to this immersion blend. Now, if you're making a pumpkin pie this holiday season, this would be a really nice decoration to put on top of your pumpkin pie. So they're chopping up nicely. I'm just gonna make them a little bit smaller. So this can make a beautiful topping on top of our pumpkin pie, or maybe if you're doing a sweet potato casserole or a butternut squash pie, that would be really good. You could, because of the flavor, hold on, hold on let me just make sure. Yeah, you could so add this into one of your pie crusts. You could mix it in with a graham cracker crust or even a, a baked crust. Oh, that would be so good. And even just topping some vegetables. This is just gonna be a great topping. You could just serve them like this. You could, uh, once they are baked, you have some guests show up, you have some chestnuts ready, you could just slice them like this. You could keep them a little bit bigger for people's fingers. They could dip it into the pumpkin dip. Now, if you're on my YouTube channel, you can see the pumpkin dip recipe coming up really soon. 
any type of a yogurt dip. This could be a dipping fruit for that as well. And these are just delicious. So as I've already shared with the health benefits, we need to add these into our diet. We need to show our family how much we love them by serving them good foods that God's created for us. So these are chestnuts. If they're new to you, then you're not, I'm not alone because they're new to me as well. Definitely a must to try. See how many different ways you can serve them to your family as well. So my kitchen still smells really good. You should be here. Well, there you have it. Now you know why you need to not just sing about the chestnuts, but enjoy them with your family. I can't wait to read your comments. How do you enjoy chestnuts? Is there anyone out there besides me that really has not enjoyed eating chestnuts before? Have you never cooked chestnut before? Well, I hope I'm inspiring you to do it this year because we have family members that not only need a really good hug, but they need food that's gonna help them to build a strong microbiome, a strong immune system. We wanna love our family for as long as possible and chestnuts is a good ingredient to add this year. So put your comments down below. How do you serve your chestnuts? What's your favorite recipe? I would love to see that. How many times have you had chestnuts in your life? Because some of you may be like me, maybe once, maybe twice, I don't know. Uh, so be sure and give me your comments down below. And while you're there, go ahead and hit the like, the subscribe, all of that. You know that's how we know that we're giving you the content that you love. But remember this, the best ingredient to serve every time you have guests is to let them know that God loves them. Because God loves you, I love you, I'm happy to serve you, God's recipe for excellent health. I'm Annette Reeder from TheBiblicalNutritionist.com. Thanks for watching.